Welcome to the InData product demonstration series. In this segment, we will show you how to get started with Timecoder Pro 6. With new web technology and the new features in Timecoder Pro 6, a fresh install and a new serial number are required. As with past installations of Timecoder Pro, you will be asked to enter in your company contact information, which will be used in the final product that you produce for clients. Now that the software has been installed, you are ready to start synchronizing audio, video, and text. If you are working in a network environment and want to use a common Timecoder database path, click on the View menu option on the top menu bar and select Options. Change the digital video transcript data path to the network location where all users will access the digital video transcripts. You will need to change the data path on all of the machines that you want to share that common path. Additionally, users will need to have read, write, and modify permissions to that location to be able to work together. By creating a common database path, all users will be able to see and work with all of the projects that have been added to Timecoder Pro. This is extremely helpful if you have a tight deadline and need multiple people to manually timestamp or check quality control on the same transcript. To add a deposition to be synchronized, click on the File menu and choose Create a New Digital Video Transcript. Follow the instructions of the wizard and browse to the location of the stored transcript, select the transcript, and click the Next button. Timecoder Pro will attempt to gather information about the deposition, like the name of the deponent and the date of the deposition. If Timecoder was unable to collect the information, you can click on the Edit button and the transcript will open in a Windows notepad. From there, you can copy and paste the deposition information into the wizard. There might be occasions when you are syncing something other than a deposition. If so, check the Other option and enter in the details of what you are synchronizing. New in Timecoder Pro 6 is the ability to track case names and matter numbers. Data can be entered into this field by either typing in the name or using the pick list to select the name and or matter number. Four other new fields that have been added to the Timecoder Pro 6 are the client ID, job number, the reporting firm, and the office for which the work is being done. If you want to be able to utilize the case name, matter number, client ID, job number, reporting firm, and office fields in the Timecoder Pro Administrator, you must enter data into these fields when you create the digital video transcript. You will not be able to enter the data directly into the administrator. Some details about the deposition will then need to be confirmed. It is critical that the page and line information is correct. To verify the accuracy of the information, you can click on the Edit button and the transcript can be reviewed in a notepad. Next, add in the multimedia sources that coincide with the deposition. Make sure that you add the media in chronological order to avoid errors and future complications. After you click the Create button, the deposition is now ready to be synchronized either manually or automated using the AutoSync or RapidSync method. Timecoder Pro can synchronize individual transcripts, or you can select multiple transcripts to be processed sequentially. One advantage of setting up transcripts for batch processing is the ability to run the collection overnight or over a weekend and monitor the progress through the Timecoder Pro Administrator. Many of our customers get overloaded with video projects and need to outsource some of the work to meet a deadline. The Send to InData option is a quick and easy option that sends the audio and the transcript to InData to be processed and returned back to you for final production. The hourly video rate is determined by the turnaround time. To start your automated synchronization, click on the Next button to see your pending charges, and then click on the Begin button to start the time coding process. Your video and transcript are now being synchronized. 
status updates such as initializing, indexing audio, align continuous speech, and align non-continuous speech are displayed. Upon completion, the results of the process are displayed. You are now ready for the quality control checks. To get more information about quality control and the quality control mode, see the tutorial entitled How to Quality Check Your Synchronization in TimeCoder Pro. Thank you for tuning in. To see more videos in the InData product demonstration series, go to www.indatacorp.com.